I love Robert Downey Jr. You love Robert Downey Jr. We all love Robert Downey Jr. We are all indebted to him. His amazing performance as Iron Man in 2008 is what gave us the MCU. It is what launched uh, the superhero genre into the stratosphere uh, to truly take over the planet. Maybe the greatest comeback story in the history of Hollywood. This guy was considered a has-been. He had addiction problems. He was arrested. A lot of problems during the 90s. Uh, and he got his life together. The uh, uh, Marvel gave him a shot at being Iron Man. He absolutely crushed it. One of the greatest performances we've ever seen, I would say, in any movie is that performance as Tony Stark. He truly became that character uh, from the comics that went from a character that people liked to an elite tier character in most people's minds. Jason, the news that broke uh, over the weekend of Comic-Con uh, is the reveal that Robert Downey Jr. is going to be playing Victor Von Doom. Your thoughts and feelings about this very divisive and controversial move. It, it couldn't be more of another just weak move by what Marvel is thinking that they, what they need to do moving forward. So they had a horrible couple years and they're like remembering the golden days and what we can do to kind of get back to that. And I wonder if the conversation was first the Russo brothers, or if it was first Robert Downey is bringing one of those back. And I imagine it was one of them saying, I want to do this with the other one. So they probably bought, brought back use Russo brothers and Russo's like, we have to bring Robert Downey for something or Robert Downey got hired. And he's like, I'm not doing this without the brothers sort of stuff. So it was that. And then, I'm okay with that, you know, bring all three of those back and let's try to do like another Iron Man or another um, Avengers, but to now recast him as Dr. Doom. So what does that mean? First off, like I think that's what the most, like, the worst part about all this is, is them not really telling us what this actually means. Is he actually Victor Von Doom? Is he going to be that person or is he a variant of Robert Downey Jr. that is being a Dr. Doom in this universe? So it's like that there's there's a, a huge situation right there where I could get behind the variant shit, which I'm just coming off of this goddamn multiverse stuff that we have so much of that that was more I can wrap my head around rather than them now recasting him as Doom. Now, does this mean we never see Robert Downey's face the entire time? Is it behind the mask and we just hear an accent and a, a voice and then his acting? And then if we do have it, is it going to be some very like, you know, Deadpool face or looking thing where we don't ever actually see Robert Downey Jr.? I can maybe get behind that a little bit more. But I mean, Victor Von Doom was roommates with uh, Reed Richards in college. You know, that's like how they met and stuff like that. We will never get any of those scenes. If I'm seeing Robert Downey, it's like a a kid you know the cgi kid face on him with you know whoever who's casted reed richards now the yeah pedro like we're getting scenes of those two like in college where he's looking like tony stark and we're supposed to just now not or forget or wipe our minds of him being this great actor and character no do not ask me to do that i will not do that <laughs> so i i need some more information behind this to really like be like okay, I'm okay with this, or no, like, I'm fucking boycotting Marvel. That was the last straw kind of move. I, I need more to really uh, form my uh, uh, very emotional opinion. It's so weird. I, I, it, When I saw the news, I was just looking at my phone and just like, what? Like, this is a joke? This is so strange. And then, yeah, immediately my brain just starts rattling off into... This sounds like the most desperate Marvel move they could have come up with. And again, just sounds like we are so creatively bankrupt. Kevin Fugazi has no idea what he's doing. And so we're going to spend $80 million. $80 million is what they're paying Robert Downey for. I think combined both films. So like, you know, you have $200 million movie. 40 million is just going to, 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 you know, to, to Robert action. Downey. And then however, yeah. two, 10, 20, 30 million to the Russo brothers, whatever, like, ah, uh, that's not good. That's not good. We all owe, as you said, we owe Robert Downey a great deal. 
it is not the irony is not lost on me that this is coming this news came literally on the weekend that Deadpool Wolverine came out when a character was brought back for a ton of money just to try and buy some tickets without actually caring to tell them a good story or bringing them back in a way that matters. Robert Downey is then revealed to be brought back as Victor Von Doom in the exact same way. Both those characters, Logan and, Wolver and, and, and Iron Man, were sent off beautifully, as perfect as a superhero could possibly, a superhero actor could possibly want to be sent off. Like, no, but you're on hol like hol holy ground with those guys. To then turn around and then just cut it immediately down in meaning by bringing him back in some half-assed attempt at saving your storyline instead of just hitting the fucking TNT and just blowing this shit up saying, you know what, we're taking two years off and we're going to come back to the drawing board and announcing anybody else, literally anybody else. If you had announced Henry Cavill, uh, Idris Elba, uh, um, Michael Fassbender, any of those types of guys that were going to play Victor Von Doom, bet, I'm in. Like, that, awesome. There's new life. Now say you're going to do, do some other new, you know, Avenger movies, whatever. Sick. But this is just fucking desperate as shit, and it's 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 so rushed, and I yeah I don't are they it's a, is it a variant is it Tony Stark is is it is it is, it, is, it, is it, you gonna like horrifically change his face is he in the Fantastic Four movie I don't even know that is he in the Fantastic Four movie Word and then gonna be in is, Avengers yeah, Word on the street not. is that <clears throat> this is before that they cast Robert Downey but the word on the street was that he will be. Uh, the character of Doctor Doom will have some type of feature, probably like a Thanos type of end of the movie cameo, but he, in some way that he would be represented. Okay, so like, I don't know, man. It's just sad. It's just like Robert did. You didn't need to. Like, I appreciate everything you've done, and like, I really wish you would have just stayed at home. I really wish you would just stayed at home. You know, I got the the same vibes with the Harrison Ford thing with him and uh, uh, Captain America movie. Like I that that's like almost we're we're just getting these big name actors. They're just trying to throw at these movies. Like, okay, maybe people will go see it just for these actors. You know, they're not going to go for the love of Marvel anymore or wanting to see a good story. Let's just see whatever X Y Z actor in, in next movie. You know, bank on that. It's uh, I will say. Maybe it all works out. Maybe it all works out. You've brought back the, the Russos, who have a great Marvel resume. Um, Robert Downey's a great actor, even outside of Iron Man. Academy kiss, Award kiss. winning actor. Yes. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, uh, Tropic Thunder, Oppenheimer. Uh, surprisingly, was a great Sherlock Holmes. When he was first cast as Sherlock Holmes, I'm like, this yeah. makes no sense. He's not British. Yeah, Why? Me too. It was great. He was a great Sherlock Holmes. So the guy's awesome. Uh, and maybe there, there's the great story that they have to tell. Uh, and Robert Downey can can disappear as being Dr. Doom. And you'll forget it's Robert Downey. Maybe. Maybe. But this also feels, even if you guys have some good ideas, this is like bringing the Russos back is akin to when they took over the movies they directed in Infinity War. They were taking over a amazing, they were a great, the franchise was at a great place. A great place. It was literally untouchable at that point. It was so great. It was riding so high. All the actors, the characters were in great places and they brought the ball over the finish line. However, they, now they are taking over, in football terms, they're taking over like a two and 15 team. They're taking over a team with no stars. Everyone got traded away or retired. They're, they're, it's like, the, it's such a mess. And the fact that there's no time, they're like going straight from Fantastic Four and Captain America. And we're going to be getting Doomsday in 2026? 20, or is it 27, 28? I think, it's, I think it's supposed to be 26, 26. Yeah. Yeah. I but, saw 26 on there somewhere. Yeah. So, so they're like, maybe that gets tomorrow. pushed because a lot of times <laughs> these dates get pushed. But that's like immediately filming and 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 going in straight into this story without the buildup of the other characters. So I suspect 
Secret War will get broken up into two movies if they get the feeling that this is truly their last gasp. Because if you broke up, if you have Doomsday, which is supposed to be the next Avengers movie, and then you have Secret War, if you want to fill it with all the callbacks and all the characters of all the different franchises and and Steve Rogers is coming back and all that, and they think that it's going to make a lot of money, like if Captain America next year makes a lot of money with Falcon playing Captain America, I think they'll they'll be like, all right, this is our this is truly our last big pot. Let's just spread it over three films and we're, we're going to bring back everyone we want to. And that will give us enough time to justify it instead of trying to cram everything back into one or two movies. Honestly, how much difference is Dr. Doom from King now? Of course. Yeah. Comic book wise. Yes. But as far as like the character that they were probably going to be playing in these movies moving forward, they just erased King's name and put Dr. Doom in on a lot of this stuff, probably moving forward. And they're getting the Russo brothers to kind of do this like, finishing touches on some project that they probably already have like moving in that direction. That would be my, if, if we have this short of a turnaround, this is essentially well, King dynasty. Is that what they're calling it? That's what but it was supposed like, to be before they, they, they erase. They, yeah. They just erase that name. They just put an X through it. And now it's doom dynasty. And they are now just copying pay. They AI generate everything else. They're like, okay, this is just AI GPT chat. Please AI Dr. Doom in for all the King references we made for the next three movies. Oh, it's done already. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect <moment. laughs> uh, Jason, okay. Or how much do you know about Secret Wars number two, the new, the newer Secret Wars, not the original nineties? Yeah, right? yeah. This was like Age of Apocalypse versus the uh, Ultimate Universe. Like, and whoever won that one, their reality got to stick around. Is what I thought that one was. Okay, about. and is the Beyonder the one doing that? Probably. Yeah, I would okay. think so. Yeah, I, I just don't know anything about it because I don't care. The original Secret Wars story is not about realities fighting each other. It's about the Beyonder taking a giant set of characters that perceive to be good and a giant set of characters that are bad, bringing uh, them to the battle world to then fight amongst each other to prove dominance. But, so my thought is if you're getting rid of Kang... Is Secret Wars not gonna? Is it gonna involve the Beyonder? Because it's it's got to be some <laughs> celestial entities of that level, you know, Watcher maybe because we're again introduced to so much Watcher stuff from that. Yeah. But this is how they're gonna finish off. I hopefully the whole multiverse stuff like that will be a closer to be like something maybe even tying stuff back up like the Doctor Strange stuff or the Loki things of getting back to sacred timeline. So I'm, I'm feeling like that's how we're going to tie up a lot of the shit that's been happening the past like 10 years. It's going to be that one. I have two remaining giant wet dreams as far as Only comic two. book movies <laughs> go. One, before I die, I would like to see a well-done Craven's Last Hunt. And before I die, I would like to see a well-done, original story, Secret Wars. A mass amount of heroes, a mass amount of villains, fighting on this world. Doctor Doom ascending to temporary godhood with the Beyonder. Then the Beyonder separating himself, going to Earth, learning how to become a human, and then slowly just losing his mind. And then it takes the powers of molecule man and every human on earth or every you know hero on earth to bring him to his knees in which he turns back into a baby and then they basically kill the baby it's a weird story sounds, the sounds ending like of the story is a little bit horrible. weird but it's a Classic awesome movie. awesome epic tale that could be done endgame and infinity war showed us that you can do that and it can work and so I don't know if that's what if that is some of their plan for this next Secret Wars, and if they're bringing Doom in, then it's like, oh, you could do it, you could do it, you could you could do the Beyonder Doom thing. And I don't know if I'm just getting my hopes up because that's like something that I would like to see, even if it is cheap cheap tricks. But I don't know. The Beyonder is who, if they were actually thinking forward like they did for the first few phases the beyonder is who should have been introduced at the beginning of phase four as the as the 
post end credits character who's out there in the, in the galaxy who's who's paying attention to what's happening and you would have had the specter of the beyonder and you're like you they already said years ago that it was going to be secret wars so it's like we already knew secret wars was going to happen you could have teased it everyone would have known all the nerds would have known we all would have known like oh this is what it's going to build towards and you could have had doomsday be this cool movie where it's this battle that feels like it's for everything and then it turns out at the end as like the, the climax is happening the beyonder steps in and he's going to set up the final chessboard uh, for these characters. Would have been really cool. I I have yet to even hear the Beyonders' name as a rumor for anything, so I have no reason to believe that they're going to successfully pull that off. And there, the third season of What If I, is going to close out all three seasons that What If, and they even said that it's going to bleed into the next movies and stuff. So it might be the Watcher is going to be this Beyonder style character where he could even just replace that almost similar powers or whatnot they should have a deadpool what if and it should just be like what if phase four was good mm. the beyonder dude give me who did we who did we fan cast as the beyonder hmm, great question um i don't know i mean we, we i think we fan casted henry cavill as every possible oh, hero no, daniel day looks i need daniel day lewis to play the beyonder oh, yeah. <laughs> Find find the shoe uh, uh, cobbler spot that he's at, and we got one more job for you, Daniel. Maybe Denzel. Like if it, like Ooh. Denzel, if you're like, I need a serious actor to do this, yeah. I think Denzel could do it. Hell yeah, I like that fan casting. That's the perfect. And yeah, you bring him in as a as a god. Like who doesn't who doesn't want to see Denzel as a god? Mm-hmm. I'd I'd watch. That's the problem, though. I think with now we're getting burned. We're burning a lot of these actors in these movies, so it was attracting all these really good actors for a while. Some Marvel stuff. I bet you that's going to dry up pretty quickly. I mean, Christian Bale got movies. wasted. Oh, Absolutely god. wasted. Oh god. god, I feel so bad for Christian Bale. Terrible. Did not deserve yeah. that. <laughs> Yep, and so other actors be like, I'm not going to jump on, so you can like cut my role down to five minutes and nothing like what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, well, MCU is dead, and that's last page.